Number 5 position in our tensile strength testing was the Roland Hawking Nano in PE 0.4. This is a small brand that we had not heard of before, but this line had a tensile strength of 435,237 PSI. With a rating of 15 pounds, it achieved a maximum brake average of 21.21 pounds and had an average diameter of 0.202 millimeters. We question its rating at PE 0.4, but that aside, it performed extremely well. The W10 Coastal Braid from Weston came in at number 4 in the tensile test. We tested the PE 0.4 variant, and we calculated the tensile strength as 442,534 psi. Overall, this was a high-performing line, however under close inspection we did find some very consistent blemishes on the surface. These were not detectable by the naked eye, nor could they be felt. We are unsure if this will affect the overall performance of the line in real-world use, but it is worth noting. Position number 3 was the Yozuri Super Braid. The 30-pound braid rated excellent in the tensile test with a result of 443,049 PSI, however it fell short in other areas. Being an X4 braid, it does have a very large diameter variation, and the actual maximum break was over 200% of its rated 30 pounds, which is worth noting if this is a line you are looking at using. The 15-pound suffix 832 is in second spot for tensile strength, up one position from last year, with a measured value of 457,155 psi. Testing of this line revealed a maximum break of 36.52 pounds, which is over 240% of its claimed 15 pounds, and a diameter of 0.256 millimeters on an advertised 0.220 millimeters. Taking home the top spot in outright tensile strength is the Verivis 8 braid in PE2. This is the replacement for the superseded Verivis high grade, and this sample achieved 463,626 psi. An extremely high quality and accurately rated line, it had a maximum break of 38.36 pounds on a rating of 37 pounds. Diameter is also very accurate, which we measured at 0.262 millimeters on an advertised diameter of 0.242 millimeters. A line found on AliExpress came in at number 5 in the abrasion test, down from position 3 in last year's results. Despite the packaging, this line is not genuine YGK, but that point aside, it does have excellent abrasion resistance. The example we tested was rated at PE 0.8 or 16 pounds, and achieved a maximum break of 15.6 pounds. The results for the abrasion test produced a solid result of 7.09 pounds or 45.45% of its maximum strength. Diameter was determined to be 0.215 millimeters, with a high deviation of over 30%. The Zukibo Fiki Laser Braid in PE 0.1 ranked in the number 4 spot with an abrasion result of 3.79 pounds, or 46.5% of its maximum break which was 8.15 pounds. Diameter was measured at 0.153 millimeters, with an out of roundness value of just under 72%, which shows this line is extremely thin but also very flat. We also tested this same line in PE 0.8 and it ranked at number 6 on the abrasion test.
Position number three was the Ice Tech by PowerPro, down one spot from the previous year. We were provided with the five pound version of this line and found it to maintain 46.86% of its ultimate strength in the abrasion test. It's worth noting that even though this line is rated at five pounds, we measured its maximum strength at over 15 pounds, so more than three times its rating. Similarly, its diameter was almost 240% of what is claimed on the box. The second Zukibo line to make it into the abrasion top 5 was the Fire FT, which claimed second spot. This fused line exceeded the 50% mark with a result of 51.52%, or 11.73 pounds, on a maximum break of 22.77 pounds. Under high magnification we determined the average diameter to be 0.224 millimeters, which is 115% of the claimed 0.2 millimeters. Top spot for the second year running was the Verivis Shore Master PE 0.8 braid, with a result of 53.92%. This braid was rated at 16.7 pounds, but maximum break was found to be 10.72 pounds, which is only 64% of its rated strength. Diameter was measured to be an average of 0.199 millimeters, with a small deviation of 10%. This is around 130% of the suggested thickness. Adding to its top spot in the abrasion resistance test, the Verivis Shore Master in PE 0.8 took home the number 5 spot for knot strength. It recorded a fantastic result of 10.05 pounds, or 93.75% of its maximum strength, that we determined to be 10.72 pounds. The My Fine Demon Strongline in 20 pound landed in fourth place in the FG test. We are yet to publish the full review video on this line, but during the FG test it achieved an average break of 18.52 pounds, or 94.54% of the maximum break which was 19.59 pounds. The line diameter was measured at an average of 0.25 millimeters, which is 208% of the claimed 0.12 millimeters. In number 3 spot was the Avani C Bass Line from Verivis in PE 0.8. This line managed to retain over 95% of its ultimate strength when tied in a FG knot, with a result of 95.58% of its maximum break which we measured at 14.47 pounds. Diameter was measured at 0.187 millimeters on an advertised 0.153 millimeters, with a variation of 16.6%. Another line that is making a second appearance is the Ice Tech by Power Pro, down from its top spot last year. With a third place in the abrasion test, it also achieved second place in the FG knot test. The line managed an average FG break of 14.47 pounds, which is 95.64% of its ultimate strength. With only 0.74 pounds difference between all three tests, it proved to be one of the more consistent lines we have ever tested. Taking top spot in the FG knot test was the Microfly line in PE 0.2 by Kingdom. With an astonishing 100% knot strength, this braid managed to maintain an FG brake value of 7.47 pounds on a maximum brake of 7.45 pounds. With a rated strength of 9 pounds, it achieved 82.78% of this value.
However, its measured diameter of 0.146 mm was over 208% more than the claimed 0.07 mm, with a high diameter variation of 41.8%. First up is the Weston W10 X13 Coastal Braid. With a fourth place in the outright tensile strength test and some solid results in the other tests, this braid reached number 5 position in our overall top braids with a final score of 89. The line featured here is rated at a PE 0.4 or 13 pounds according to Weston, which we found to break at 13.65 pounds and had a diameter of 0.16 millimeters. Position number 4 was actually a tie between two braids, first being the Stroff Type E in 7.5 kg. Despite it not reaching the top 5 in any individual category, the excellent results across all tests shows that this all-rounder earned its spot. With a final score of 75, we tested this line to break at 20.78 pounds, which is 125.9% of its rated 16.5 pounds, Diameter was measured at an average of 0.212 mm, with a variation of 30.6%. In equal fourth was the Viribus Nano Braid by Roland Hawking in PE 0.4. This braid came in fifth in the tensile test for currently available braids, and had strong results in the other two tests. This line was rated at 15 pounds, but we determined its maximum break to be 21.21 pounds, with a diameter of 0.202 millimeters. The Verivis 8 line in PE 0.6 took home the number 2 spot in our best braids. The PE 2 version of this line ranked top in the tensile strength test, but its smaller brother didn't rate quite as high. Despite the fact that this braid didn't reach the top 5 in any individual category, the exceptional results across the board allowed it to secure its spot in the top braids. We measured this line to break at 12.09 pounds on a rating of 13 pounds and a diameter of 0.152 millimeters. The number one braid based on our laboratory testing was the Fire FT line by Zukibo in PE 1.5. This fused line was the second best braid we have tested in abrasion resistance and achieved outstanding results in both the tensile strength and FG tests which catapulted it into top spot. Testing showed that this line had a maximum strength of 22.77 pounds and a diameter of 0.224 millimeters with an amazing 6.25% diameter variation, which indicates this line is also extremely round. We have just recently heard feedback from some users who have tried this line, that they found it extremely stiff. This is not the case in the spool that we tested, however, we felt it necessary to flag this, as feedback from real-world use is important to making an educated decision on if a line is appropriate. 